Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Captain State. The, Captain State. The movie was directed by Rupert um, Wyatt, the actor starring in it, or John Goodman, excuse me, Esther Sanders, Jonathan Majors, Vera um, Formiga, James um, Ranson, Alan Rook, um, Ben Daniels, Caitlin um, Ewald, Lawrence Grimm, and Kevin Dunn. In this movie here, the aliens won. The aliens took over the planet. They are in charge. They are our leaders. They are in charge of our laws. They are in charge of what we see on, on the news. They, they are in charge of everything. They got little devices and living, like living the, the devices and planets inside of us to keep track of us, where we're going. And then it makes, makes matters even worse. Not only are they in charge, but they have human beings for, uh, forcing us to make sure we follow their rules. Yeah, this is not a feel-good movie. This is not the the, the human beings fought back and we lost. No, 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 no. This is the this is the movie where the aliens came down, showed the how showed the show all their big guns and said, "We got bigger guns than you." And, and and then America and the rest of the world said, "Oh, okay. Where did we sign? Um, where did we sign? Did that make you in charge? Oh, no, that's like that." And boom, just like that. And they, and you got the, the propaganda going around that the poverty has went down, but you can tell that it didn't. Jobs are going up. Yeah, people are having jobs at working in factories for, for the aliens. If you don't do that, you don't get nothing. And, and, and I don't think they, I don't think they barely pay them. Because everybody who they show mostly is in poverty. I don't know how the, how the rich are doing. They keep saying the violence even more, but uh, you don't even see the rich. Everybody looks poor. Oh. So before I get into the good stuff, let's start with the bad. The bad part is, okay, there's not really a lot of dialogue in this movie. And there's not really a lot of, how you say, character development look, too much. So you don't really get to know the characters too much. You mostly just like this, because you're like this, you're already, you, you're just with them. You just, you just, you just got to figure it out as you go. You, you really do. So just, you, don't know, you don't really know these people that well, so you don't really get attached to them. You don't see them go through a lot of stuff. You're just, cause they're already in the mess, and you just see them, see people de dealing with it, how people deal with it. And like I said, not a, lot, not a, lot of a, a huge dialogue what is going on, so you don't really get, um, so it's not like people like just acting. It's not like, like I've seen people are like, like acting in you know, dramatic, dramatic scenes. People like living the life, and that's pretty much it. The, the, the aliens took over, and people trying to had to deal with it, and that's this is it. So you don't really get to know the characters that well. So you don't really get attached to too many people that much either. Yeah. So let's move on to the good stuff. The good part is this movie has a lot of um, twists and turns in it that I, I didn't enjoy. Special effects, graphics, were pretty good. So it's not, it wasn't like big and flashy. It felt more like down. Even as weird as that is to say, down to earth. Even though they had, like, they got spaceships on there. Because even the spaceships didn't look all fancy and like, like you see, like you see, like you see most spaceship. It looks like a giant rock that can just fly. Yeah, even the, the, the aliens' uniforms that. Towards the end, it got more like more high tech. Mostly, it kind of looked like kind of organic, like with little spikes in it. And I thought, at first, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought how they look, but that was just a, a, a uniform they, they they wore over them to like protect them from like from like our atmosphere and stuff like that. Yeah. So the, it, 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 there's twists and turns movie that I really didn't enjoy. Some people you think is on the wrong side, turn out may, may may not be. And because the thing is though, it's not like. All human beings are okay with this, but it's like it's only a small group of people who are trying to fight back, and that's it. Everybody else is drunk to Kool Aid. Saying, well, the ones are in charge, and it's so messed up watching this world where people we just just let them have power over us. Like, we, we, like, we, we, like, we're, like we're slaves, but we we okay with it. I'm like, what? It's like it's, it's like it's, it's like mind tripping. I just I don't believe this. Like nobody trying to fight back. I mean, yes. I say there is a small, small group, but it's not like, but it's not like um, Star Wars. You got the rebels; they're organized into like a big army. No, it's like it's, it's, it's like like ten people mostly. Out of everybody else who just like drunk the Kool Aid, like how can you be so happy about this? Like how can you be, how can you be okay with what's going on? It's like, it's like every time I saw that, I was like broke my heart a little bit. I said, wow, and the fact we gave up so fast. I just, oh my gosh. Oh, this is not a feel-good movie. You're not gonna leave this movie feeling happy. You're not. You're. you're <laughs> it's not gonna. This is not a movie that's gonna inspire you. This is not gonna be a movie where you're gonna see like a lot of aliens and humans fighting, 
space battles. Nope, none, none of that. This is not Independence Day. This is not that. We lost. And we accepted it. We drank the Kool-Aid and kept on moving. I, I, wow. It's like, woof. Oh, my gosh. Did I enjoy this movie? It's like, I actually did. I did enjoy it. It's not, very, it's not, I'm not sure it's a movie for everybody. But I did have fun. I wouldn't say I had fun watching it, but it was like, it was interesting to watch. It really was. I give me a great, I'll give it a solid B. I'm giving it a B. But it's not going to make you feel great at the end. Because the thing is, though, when you watch this movie, you think, you think that the characters are going one direction. And when you find out the truth and what's actually, what's actually going on and why all this stuff happened to, to get to this point, it, it hurts even more. This is a bittersweet movie. Not a... Oh, and emphasis on the bitter part. Wow. So, I say, you should check it out for yourself. Check it out for yourself. We'll take my word for it. Hopefully you're watching. Maybe you and you will make you feel good. I don't know how it would, but it, maybe you would. I don't know. Or maybe you enjoy it. Or maybe you won't. Because I can see the movie going either way. Because you could go to this movie and say, oh, that was actually pretty good. Interesting. Or you could say, that movie was horrible. Because, like I said, this is not a feel-good movie. It really isn't. <sighs> Overall, I did enjoy it. So, leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the movie. I'm Captain State. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it, check it out for yourself. Don't think my word for it. Hope when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would really appreciate it, like I always say in my dreams and in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.